Hello my friends. I'm going to do a split cup pour today using some of my favorite colors together. I've got Payne's Gray, Creative Inspirations, Creative Inspirations Viridian. Uh, then I've mixed some Viridian and white and Payne's Gray and white to come up with some lighter values. And Arteza's Pearl Lime Green and Artist Loft Violet, Light Violet, with a bit of Prism Pores Royal Galaxy in there to darken it and give it a bit of a shimmer. So, let's get to it. We are having rain here in California for the first time in a long time. It's so refreshing and wonderful. I have my window open, so if you hear a little, a little drizzle, that's why. Okay. I want to mention that my friend Nilda Rodriguez from Online Painting School has um, kind of, well, she did pouring for years. In fact, she was the one that got me into pouring. But she's taken her channel in a new direction where she's going to be teaching brush painting and, um, and both oils and acrylics and color pencil paintings. And she's just a wonderful teacher, very creative. And I urge you to go visit her channel. I'm going to link it down below in my description box. But uh, I'd sure like to have you support her if you're not familiar with her. Feels, oh, I'm using my polycrylic mix. And the one I just poured in there with the white felt quite a bit thinner, but that was because um, it was Artist Loft white, which is thinner than most of the tube paints. But um, I don't think it was so drastically different that it, it will be a problem. I mixed, I'm using my polycrylic mix and I will also link how I mixed together a big batch of that if you've missed that video. Uh, let's move on to the center here. <clears throat> um, can't remember. Oh yes, I was going to, I just mixed up a big batch of it and I generally use, well I always use, Elmer's glue wall as my glue in that recipe, but someone had given me a big gallon of school glue and I accidentally poured about half of that in before I realized it wasn't the glue wall. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any kind of a noticeable difference. The school glue is is different. It reacts differently when um, you use silicone, it's, it's very stretchy, and that's what they make kids slime out of. So um, it does have different properties, and it's washable. So if you use silicone with it, and then you go to wash it, it can reactivate. And that's not a good thing. So, so I... I don't know. I, well, I don't like to use it with um, silicone for sure. And I have no silicone in here. So anyway, for what it's worth, that's what I'm telling you. Boy, I <clears throat> have more paint than I need. So I'll probably have to do a small one with the leftovers. Now I'll fill up the two sides with the blues and violet.
For a long time, I only sold originals of my paintings. I wasn't interested in prints, but recently I have decided why not? <laughs> so, um, on, on embellishments. So if you have seen something in the past and you're interested in a, a print, feel free to contact me. And I can give you prices on various sizes. I want your three chambers to be as close and uh, level as possible so they pour out at the same time. Okay, that looks pretty. Okay, and here we go. I'm making kind of circular motions and then straight and twisting my wrist. Oh, that's pretty. Finally, there's some pretty colors and the dark um, uh, Payne's gray. I don't like the look. <laughs> I don't like the look of that at all, but that will uh, change. And I'm not sure. This is interesting right now, but I don't know how that's going to look um, stretched out. This is nice. I, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to pour the rest of my um, paint in here and pour some more. This is probably a sufficient amount of paint to uh, cover the canvas, but. I'm going to pour it out, use it up. Maybe I'll just fill up the middle chamber. Nilda released a video on tips for landscape painting this morning, and it was really helpful. I learned a few things. It was fun to watch her paint this beautiful landscape and divulge a bunch of secrets. I have a few more of my embellished painting books available. If anyone's interested, you know how to reach me. Chrissy Paints at yahoo.com. I like this green. Isn't that pretty there? But I wish I had more purple to go alongside it. Oh well. Okay, yes, that's about all I can do. 
yeah, I'm pouring right over this thing. Okay. It's pretty thick. I usually, um, I mix this three parts polyacrylic to one part paint. Oh, I better get tilting. And uh, I usually end up adding some water, but I thought I, I would not this time and just see how that worked. So it was pretty thick. I actually do like that now, and this is very pretty. Let's see if I can save a good part of that. I'm liking this. I'm liking that part. I'm not so much that thing I added. Huh. Uh, I'm going to try to tilt part of this off, and then I'll come down this way. I should have just tilted out what I had on there. Live and learn, right? It's going to be okay, though. I like it. This, this, this part up here reminds me of um, the, the flying monkeys in the Wizard of Oz. Well, I, I think I'd rather like it just like it is. I'm going to leave it alone, my friends. I really, really am. I have a few voids on the outside, but when it's dry, I'll fill those in, probably with the uh, Payne's Gray. So let me bring in for a closer look. Look at those lines, I think they're great. And that kind of lime green is metallic, so that'll be very pretty when it dries. Oh, look at that right there, I like those wispy little lines. That part's rather interesting, and actually the whole thing, I, I really like it. It's I like those folds there. Yeah, I think it's quite a, a pretty piece.
I'm going to be adding a bunch of rounds to my website soon and I uh, would love to send them off to new homes so if you're <laughs> interested check back on my website chrissypaints.com and uh, I'll be happy to send one to you. <laughs> okay, my friends. Thank you for watching. See you next time.